Hello everyone, um, so I've been building sheep, so sometimes that's why I just do this stuff because I can. Um, but I've been looking for a way to kind of investigate weekly data, uh, see patterns and targets or usage. And I ended up building this thing. Um, I'm not going to make it available to everyone because it uses 4 for 4 data. So I'm just going to post it on Patreon here. But I uh, built in some filters. Um, which need a little explaining for anyone who isn't, you know, uh, too Excel savvy. So I want to do a video as well. Um, essentially what I did is create a way that you could look at week to week targets. So here you've got weeks 1 to 17. Um, and you could look at it at any year or any series of years since 2013. That's all the data I have on weekly. Um, for any position and also... Um, you can filter by, uh, how to say that, uh, team position rank. So this has it um, as uh, the top three tight ends in targets. And um, if you only look, wanted to look at the tight ends that on each team, running down the left here, that got the most targets, you can just put in number one here and it refilters. So that's only looking at the tight end one in targets. Um, so uh, another way of looking at that is if you go, if I flip over to just the raw data here, um, the tight end one and targets on every team for every year is available, and so it ju it's just showing you that in the table. Uh, hang on. So uh, if we only if we flick it to one on tight ends there, then the Arizona line is only showing you. Um, Jer uh, Jermaine Gresham's targets on a weekly basis because you've put in the number one and you've put in tight end and you've put in 2017 then it will only have Jermaine Gresham's targets on there so tight end 2017 tight end one Arizona wherever it is Arizona right here these are all Jermaine Gresham's targets you don't know that just looking at the table it's just trying to explain what this one over here means. And what I essentially did is rank each position in terms of targets each year. So you can see if you were to put in the top three, you'd get all these targets combined on a weekly basis in the table. And you can also do that for running backs and wide receivers. And as a quirk, quarterbacks also in there. So one <laughs> um obviously that's not too useful to, for targets but i also did it for um touches as well same three filters and um, so if we flick back over to tight ends and um, these are all targets um for tight ends for each team on a weekly basis since 2013 so all four years there and um, for the top three options and again if i just wanted it to be the top one option so the leader um, in targets every year or, or four years combined and um, i just put in one over here so that's what i've done and um, it needs a key and so in the google spreadsheet that i'm going to share i've actually got an extra tab and it just has the key and it tells you like this these two symbols put together means greater than or equal to so every year including equal to 2013 or 2014 15 16 and 17 um, and again if you just want uh, to look at a single year you just type in that single year if you just want to look at it since 2016 then you type in greater than or equal to 2016 and if you wanted to look at every wide receiver and um, well I think the max number on there is like uh, six wide receiver six so less than or equal to wide receiver six and it will pull up all the targets the top six options on each team on a weekly basis now my what I was starting to look at you can also thought of like you know uh, the, uh, the team that's targeted their top three options the most since 2016 it's Green Bay for example 
and and again you see the weekly breakdown. What I was what I'm starting to do is look at when they're used. I'm I'm wondering if wide receivers, tight ends, or running backs are used more at the start, middle, or end of the year. And um, I haven't found a great. Uh, this isn't finished yet. It's not perfect. And for example, this is five weeks of data. These five. That's these six. And this is the last five, not including uh, week seventeen. Um, but that also means that you know these middle years it looks like wide receivers are used a lot more in the middle of the season but that's six weeks compared to five weeks compared to five weeks on the other end and also most bye weeks happen in this period and so I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to do that yet and um, I do have at the bottom here it filters by total targets and then divides it by five so that's weekly targets um, for the entire position um, by week and so that way I'm getting a bit of a better look because I'm getting rid of that you know this is five this is six this is five and so that um, evens that out a little bit and in fact by week the middle of the season here wide receivers seem to be getting a lot less targets um, as a league at least but like I say that's not quite finished yet COV just in case you don't know it's a way of measuring variance it's to blow the tears off you but it's a coefficient of variation COV sometimes just CV but I put the O in there because otherwise I forget what it's called um, and that just measures the difference in uh, in I'm uh, measuring the difference between the start middle and end of the season here so how different are these three numbers? And the closer it is to zero, the more similar they are. So if I, I filter by C or V here, I see which team is targeting their wide receivers with these three filters on um, most consistently throughout the year. So again, this isn't exactly perfect. Remember that that's five weeks, that's six, and that's five. And it's not counting for bye weeks yet. Um, but yeah, that, that's what these things over here are for if you're interested. All right, um, and again, I'm in the touches tab right now. So obviously running back is probably more interesting when you're talking about touches. <coughs> and if we thought it back over to just 2017 and only the first running back in terms of touches, you can see that Pittsburgh was giving Le'Veon Bell obviously a hell of a lot of uh, touches last year um, and you can also see where he got his touches he was pretty consistent apart from his bye week throughout the year whereas I think if I keep digging into this we'll find teams that consistently have a similar distribution throughout the year maybe they've got um, a consistent coaching staff or maybe a consistent running back um, for example where's Kansas that's one of the reasons I wanted to look into um, running back touches because remember there was that period right here for um, Kareem Hunt where he just stopped getting used. Um, I, I wanted to see if that's persistent for Kansas. Um, so I'll go back to the year before when they really didn't have a running back one. Go back even further to when they had Jamal Charles. Mm. Didn't seem to happen there. Team narratives kind of suck anyway. Happen here. Anyway, um, yeah, okay. So that's the sheet. I'm going to post it all for you, and you can start filtering and looking at weekly data for yourselves. Um, I just wanted to make it available to you all. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, check out that key tab that's in the Google Sheet if you're not sure how to use the greater than or equal to symbol it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it the most important thing i guess to remember is that when you're dealing with years you're mostly going to want to use greater than so the biggest end of the triangles on the left um, and when you use team position in touches in this case you're probably going to want to use less than because you want to get because you're going to want to running back three two and one not three four and five six seven eight nine ten um so yeah thanks for checking out